Some Bozeman citizens are fighting for a ban on using cell phones behind the wheel unless the driver uses a hands-free device. KBZK reporter Dan Boyce tells us city leaders are taking notice. 59-year-old Dex Tank is still playing golf. I've had to learn, you know, a different method. Even in the winter, even after what happened seven years ago. I was driving down the highway in my Harley a half mile from work, and she pulled out in front of me in her Suburban, and I hit her at 50 miles an hour. 12 days in a coma, a torn aorta, a collapsed lung, and this. The driver of the vehicle that hit him was talking on her cell phone. You can't ignore those things. Human life is at stake in this issue. This is something a lot of us do, tapping out a quick response to a friend's text, taking a call we say cannot wait. It often feels pretty innocent. But a recent study from Virginia Tech shows someone dialing a cell phone is nearly three times as likely to get into a crash. Starting this month, the Bozeman Police Department is collecting data on local car accidents, looking for signs of cell phone use. It should be one of the first things they do. Bozeman resident Tom Keck lost his 22-year-old son Colin in a 2008 accident in Washington. Colin was riding his bike to work and was hit by a distracted semi-driver. Police never investigated if a cell phone was involved. You know, a person that loses a loved one has a right to know what was going on. That same Virginia Tech survey shows someone texting while driving a heavy vehicle like a semi is 23 times more likely to get in an accident. Dan Boyce, KBZK, in Bozeman. City Commissioner Carson Taylor says he expects some type of cell phone ban to go before the commission as early as this summer.